Hi everyone, today we're in the Dutch countryside and it's a very grey day uh, but we're going to go and see if we can find some rare flamingos which uh, now uh, have found their home in the Netherlands so we're going to drive for about uh, 15 kilometers and then hopefully a 50% chance that we can see some uh, flamingos so let's keep our fingers crossed and uh, off we go We're at the place now and it's a small rural harbour out in the countryside and uh, right next to the harbour is a, a nature area for wildfowl. I've just climbed up on a, a tower to see if I could see any signs of the flamingos. There's plenty of birds around, uh, swarms of ducks and geese, but so far I haven't uh, spotted any of the pink feathered variety. So we'll just uh, go for a walk into the reserve and see what we come across. I'm just uh, trying to find uh, an area where I can get access so I can look over the wetland region and uh, just walking past a paddock with sheep and of course there's always one idiot in the area, this guy on a motorbike just going up and down and doing laps just to spoil the peace. But uh, so I'm just going to walk along here for a probably a half a kilometer and see if there's a decent view of the water so I still have hope let's see what comes out of it so you might be wondering what that big long high concrete uh, embankment is behind the sheep paddock 
and that's uh, actually a, a barrier to defend against uh, strong sea surges when there's storms uh, so that uh, inland isn't flooded um, and farmland uh, is destroyed and there's also towns that lie below sea level I think between one and one and a half meters below sea level so uh, this is part of the the Dutch uh, North Sea defences to stop uh, flooding. Uh, so far we've only seen some ducks and some more hens and a small group of uh, grey leg geese. Um, it was a nice shot of the geese in the foreground with the uh, wind turbine park in the background. Uh, but so far no flamingos. Um, we'll just keep walking a bit further and keep our fingers crossed we see something else. Well just as I said that um, I just saw a group of three flamingos flying off in the distance they'd just taken off. I have a feeling it's my own fault. I think they heard me talking and I might have spooked them. So um, I'm just going to go around this corner and hope that there's some left. So here goes. the way it goes when you're trying to find wildlife. Sometimes you have luck and sometimes you don't. Today we didn't have that much luck but I still enjoyed being out here in the fresh air and looking at some birds. So we'll uh, jump in the car now and head home. here and I saw some dudes up on a top of a dike and they're all sporting uh, long telescopes so I have a feeling they've spotted a group of flamingos I'm gonna bust out their tripod and spoil their party
Oh, the bird watchers were really great guys. Um, they invited me over to their telescope and let me look through and uh, off about a kilometer and a half in the distance was a group of about 30 flamingos and the bird watchers tell me that they're a mixture of uh, European long legged flamingos uh, and Chilean flamingos and there were also some Caribbean flamingos uh, in the mix and I said well that's really crazy that they've come all the way from Chile to uh, roost in the Netherlands or live in the Netherlands and the guy uh, laughed a bit and said that uh, the reason uh, they're here is because they've escaped a long time ago from a zoo or a, a nature reserve so they're actually not really wild at all they're more exotic or uh, you could say feral uh, but they don't seem to do any damage to the environment here and they can survive the harsh winters uh, maybe there's also some that come north from Italy because I know there are resident populations in uh, Italy as well and Sardinia so uh, we had a a little taste of uh, what the flamingos uh, can look like. Uh, I tried to get some film of it but they were just so far away they're just like pinpricks in the distance. The sun's going down now so I think uh, our chance has uh, flown away with the last of the flamingos and uh, I'll head home too. So see you later guys, all the best.